What's going on guys? TJ here. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to go over the top 10 reasons why you should consider going to HVAC school. Let's get into it. Just want to start by saying these are in no particular order. Just kind of listing out some of the reasons I think you should go to tech school. Number one, you get to learn how to use tools. This one might just be personal to me, but before I went to tech school, I didn't know anything about tools. I didn't know how to use a multimeter. I didn't know the difference between a drill and an impact. Um, and some of these tools I had never even heard of in my entire life. So I think for uh, guys who have not had a lot of experience with um, fixing things, working with tools and everything. I think that's a big reason uh, to go and consider going to tech school. Number two, you get your foot in the door. I know when I became interested in doing HVAC, I didn't know anybody in the industry. I didn't have any contacts. I put in applications around my area to try to see if I can get a job in HVAC. But, you know, every time they would ask, have you been to school for this? Do you know anything about HVAC? I would say no. And uh, they would tell me, ah, you should probably go to school. Now, some guys get lucky and they don't have to go to school. Um, they might know somebody. They might just get lucky and get a job and install. But me, I wasn't that lucky. Number three, you learn about the different types of HVAC. I know when I first got into tech school, I didn't know how huge the industry was. I didn't know there was a such thing as industrial HVAC. Didn't know there was a such thing as commercial HVAC. I hardly even knew how huge the residential sector of it was. I went in with the idea that I was gonna learn how to fix refrigerators, and I did just that. You might get in there thinking that you want to just work on residential, and then find out that you may have a knack for industrial HVAC, or you know commercial HVAC. You might find out when you're in there that, you know, uh, the commercial side excites you more. So you never know what you're gonna learn in tech school because there's just a whole big world out there. I mean, there's things that I learned being out in the field that I didn't know that this was a part of HVAC, like IAQ, air, indoor air quality control. Um, there's controls you can get into. So there's just like a whole big industry that you might not know about, you know, until you get into the school. Number four, the length of time of the schooling. For me, I spent one year in tech school. Some tech schools do two years, um, but for me, it was one year. College, in order to get you know up there in the ranks, you're probably gonna have to go and get a bachelor's degree, which is four years. Uh, but for tech school, only one year. On top of that, after my first semester in tech school, I was already out in the field working. Now I was install, but I was still getting more hands-on training um, out there working, getting paid while going to school. Number five, the money. So I'm not talking about how much money you're gonna make when you leave tech school, but the length of time of when you'll start to see money. In this industry, you can start to see money fairly quickly depending on how good you are. Um, when I first got in with my first job, I was making maybe $13 an hour, somewhere around there as a uh, light commercial install helper <laughs> um, I know that's a long title but um, I was making about $13 an hour been doing it for about five years now and um, you know I was up to making about 50 grand a year um, now with me I took little breaks in between I, I jumped around at different jobs a lot um, but somebody who's, who's dedicated and who's really really good um, you know they could start to see money within you know six months depending on how good you are unfortunately for me i got kind of stuck in the install which i wasn't really that good at so <laughs> sorry about that i wasn't really good at install so it took me a while to start to uh, grow the money i have more of a talent for um, service and once i did get into service that's when i started seeing the money uh, started seeing the 50, 50 grand and uh, up from there. Reason number six, job security. 
And this does not just go for HVAC. This goes for any skilled trade. There's such a shortage on skilled workers that the, the jobs are just everywhere. Uh, right now, there's so much work in the industry and not enough people to do it. So my advice, if you don't like where you're at, you can always go somewhere else and find another place to go and probably make more money um, just because there's just, there's just nobody. There's nobody. Um, a lot of the older guys that are in it are getting ready to retire. And who's there to replace them but us? Reason number seven. You can work from anywhere. Face it. No matter where you go, everybody needs a conditioned space. They either need their air conditioner or their heat. I mean, you go, if you want to live in Florida, tons of work there. If you want to live in Alaska, tons of work there. You can go anywhere. Number seven, short and sweet. Reason number eight, the cost. Cost of the schooling is so low that in the grand scheme of things, it won't even affect you. Um, I know some people who went to a four-year college for, I don't know, an arts degree <laughs> and paid 27 grand per semester. My whole entire schooling was about $9,000, $9, something around there. And uh, I, I was making money while I was in school. So... I mean, it's so cheap to go to tech school that why not even consider doing it? <laughs> Reason number nine, working with your hands. You know, just because I didn't know how to work with my hands didn't mean I didn't like doing it. Uh, HVAC is a very hands-on. Uh, you'll be out there every day working with your hands. Um, and you get to work with your mind as well. But if you're the type of person that likes to get out there and touch machines and get them hands dirty... HVAC is perfect for you. <laughs> Real quick, before we get to number 10, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification. It'll really help me out. If you want to learn more about HVAC or any of the trades, or just follow along with what I'm doing, it would help out a lot. Always got to do the housekeeping, right? <laughs> and last but not least, number 10, freedom. <laughs> if you like working on your own this is for you if you don't like a boss breathing down your neck 24 7 this is probably for you um, with the HVAC trade you're pretty much put out there to do your own thing your boss isn't gonna be babysitting you every little thing you do looking over your shoulder now you might have a customer <laughs> looking over your shoulder while you're working on something but definitely no boss or um, any co-workers or anything like that breathing down your neck it's usually just you, your podcasts, your van, and your tools, <laughs> and the work you got to get done for the day. Um, so if you're one of those type of people that kind of like to be out on your own, yeah, definitely consider this. So that's my top 10 reasons why you should consider going to HVAC school. If you like this type of video, please let me know in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you. Peace.